Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to share, I want to start this video off with um, sharing a dream vision I have and just sharing some of my experiences. Um, as you may have noticed, my last couple videos were of some necessary spiritual warfare. Um, uh, many who are familiar with my story know that I fell from my first love. Um, I went astray and um, followed um, a woman who I who I believe God put in my life and who I fell in love with. But um. And she got mixed in with the occult. I, I really didn't um, really know better, uh, to be honest. But it's not really about that. I don't. Um, the point is, is that um, well, this woman, uh, as most probably know, um, has not only gone to the other side, has taken the liberty, and has been. Um, attacking me with spells, witchcraft, manipulation, deceit, lies, and forked tongue. Um, it has gone so far that the Lord has sent one of our brethren to warn her. A stern, harsh warning. Um, she did not pay heed. Um, when all was out in the open, um, there was a lot of spiritual attacks. Um, she was sending my way. Hence my videos from last night. And even after those videos, um, she persisted in those attacks um, throughout the night and is still persisting. But the Lord let her have her wrath, it seems. Um... And, and and it's pretty sad because during the spiritual warfare last night, um, not only did she is she ignoring God's word from our brethren, the stern, harsh word from the Lord, um, she is fully fighting against the spirit of the Holy of Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit had warned her of hellfire and hell. Um, Warned her of baldness. I don't, um, I don't know if the, what is coming her way, but um, she is unrelenting, unrepenting, and is that far gone that she is manipulating the spirit of God just first on the first degree, fighting um, the Almighty Creator, the God of all gods. Um, this is very sad. But, and when you see her, um, clearly she is gone. So, clearly she is just possessed by other spirits. And it's not there. Has that, you know, angel comes as a, um, Satan comes as an angel of light. And she just has that light countenance on her. So, um, I just, I, I really just pray, Lord, that you cut her down. Um, not out of vengeance, just cut her down so her sin goes no more. Out of mercy. I pray that you cut her down out of mercy. So her sin goes no more. And that there might be, and that there is, there is hope for her soul. Okay, I feel that in the spirit. There is hope for her soul. Let's hope so. If, unless that's her manipulating, I don't know. Um, the witchcraft is very tricky. It's, um... Uh, very hard to hear the Spirit of the Lord. But I am discerning. So, um, while she, while their intense warfare last night against her, she had her little way with me and her wrath. And um, thankfully, it seems the Lord put a blanket of protection after that. You know, we know the Lord leads us into our sin. And, um, you know, just to... So there's no, there's no debate 
um, the evidence is there, guilty um, as can be. Um, so as I finally got to sleep last night, um, I had a little dream vision from the Lord and it was of Noah's rainbow. And I, I recently learned that Noah's rainbow is Jesus Christ, one of the messages of Christ in Genesis. <clears throat> and first in the dream, it, there was, um, it was raining. And then on the other side, say like it was raining, I don't, say it was raining on, you know, one hemisphere, then the other hemisphere is sunny. I'm like, oh, there should be a rainbow outside. As I looked outside, there was a small rainbow. And all of a sudden, it just got huge and covered the whole sky. And everybody was just really, I was just really happy, dancing for joy. Look, look, it's Jesus. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming. And uh, we were so happy. And the Lord then sent his message, um, which was a reproach. He said, um, follow, follow Christ and Christ will save you. And that was my reproach for not following him and falling away in the past. Whether, you know, despite my reasons, um, you know, amen. And I, I pay heed indefinitely. Um, and I see the Lord is really showing me um, this lesson through this woman um, going full force in her sin, in her murderous attacks against God himself. And, you know, she clearly is not knowledgeable enough or experienced enough to, um, to not discern, not to make such a foolish mistake. But um, she's going forth. Uh, she's that far gone. And it, it's really sad because this is somebody who once had the Holy Spirit and who was once a sister of ours. And um, as of now, she is an enemy of the kingdom. But I hope the Lord um, cuts her down and she repents. I really hope she does. Um, I hope that happens. I think there's a good chance that might happen. So, um, please, Lord, in Jesus' name, I really pray that you cut her down out of your mercy. Out of your mercy for her soul which she has willfully traded already. So, okay, I just wanted to share that. Um, if many who do not know how Jesus is Noah's rainbow, I just, this is something I learned, so I, um, I just wanted to share this with everybody as well, um, since I'm on the topic. So, Genesis 9, 8 through 17 I'll leave it in the description box. I won't suffer you to listen to me read this whole passage. But is God's covenant of the rainbow. But actually I am going to read it because I'm going to talk about this. So, okay. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. And with every living creature that was with you. The birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals. All those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again with all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. Now listen, now people are going to say, wait a minute, what about the end times? And people are prophesying tsunamis to hit New York and blah, blah, blah. Well, there, God says, never again will I... There be a flood to destroy the earth. Um, never again, I'm sorry, never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Okay, because it's going to be a rapture. God is going to rapture his people. God is going to rapture his creation. He's going to rapture the innocent and his, and his people and those who turn their hearts to him. He's going to rapture. So these words are still valid. So continuing reading, and God said, This is a sign of the covenant that I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. Okay, again, that's confirmed. A covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Okay, now this rainbow is Jesus Christ, and I'll get into that. I'll show you the scriptural proof of that when we're done. 
Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Now that is clearly a reference to the coming of the Son of Man in the clouds and the rapture. Okay. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established, established between me and all life on earth. Okay. So if you need your two witnesses in scripture, um... Let's go to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 125 through 28. Now, if you know what Ezekiel is about and how it's about um, the day of the Lord and the coming to bring, it's about God's wrath and um, the return of Jesus in the clouds specifically, um, or so it seems. So, so listen to this description. Mind you, this is also Old Testament for those um, non-believers out there who might still be in, um, you know, uh, who are non-believing Jews or whatever. Um, then there came a voice from above. Then there came a voice from above the vault over their heads as they stood with lowered wings. Above the vault over their heads was what looked like a throne of lapses. Lazily, excuse me, I'm not even going to bother. And high above on the throne was a figure that was like a man. Okay? So there we go. We know we're talking about Jesus. I saw that from what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like glowing metal, as if full of fire. And that from there down, he looked like fire. And brilliant light surrounded him, like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day. So was the radiance around him. Okay, so, you know, we could just go on with theories of what this stuff means, but this is a confirmation. Yes, Jesus Christ is, his countenance is that of a rainbow, and is indeed Noah's covenant. Now, your second witness here is in Revelation 4 or 2 4, and there might be others, but um, at once I was in the Spirit, and there before. Me was a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Ruby. It sounds exactly like Ezekiel, right? What we just read? A rainbow that shone like an emerald encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne was 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold in their heads. So, um, there we go. That's your second witness in there. So, um, I'm just rereading. I'm just double checking, making sure I'm I'm not. Uh, yes, that is indeed. Yes. So, so in case anybody was not aware that Jesus is God's was Noah's covenant was Jesus, and it seems that Christ is not the. You know, I know the scriptures say it's a new covenant and stuff like that, but it really the truth seems to be it's a renewed covenant throughout time throughout the scriptures. That seems to be the truth. It's a renewed covenant with God making seemingly adjustments according to the times and so forth. Um, also, people say, you know, the rainbow um, is a bow in the sky, right? It's a bow. And we know that the scriptures say, um, like in Psalms and stuff, God's bow is his the patience of his wrath. But it just gets more and more as time goes on. If I could find a decent picture of a rainbow here. Um, here we go. Okay. Um, right? You see the bow, like in the scriptures, it talks about God's wrath as a bow. Now we notice, but except to confirm this covenant, some commentaries have say, but notice how it's pointing up in heaven. It's not pointing down on earth. Whether that is... Some kind of truth, I really don't know, but it is an interesting um, analogy, for sure. So, okay guys, um, I just wanted to share that, share that little testimony, and um, 
I just want to request your prayers for protection. And um, I don't know. We, we, pray, we pray our past sister repents and um, that the Lord does indeed stop this and cuts her down for the mercy of her soul. And so that her sin just does not go any further. Um, this is a very sad situation. Um, uh, very pathetic too. And, um, and you know, when you see her, you could just, when you see her face, you just see she's gone. So, um, okay. God bless. Thank you guys.